Hi, I'm Kenneth C. Davis, author of The Hidden History of America at War. About 230 years ago, George Washington ordered an attack at Yorktown. He told the Marquis de Lafayette and Alexander Hamilton that the men should use cold steel, bayonets. Ten years ago, in 2004, the Marines went into Fallujah and they used bayonets too. In other words, not that much has changed about the way we go to war. The Hidden History of America at War talks about what war is really like, what battles are really like, and it does it in a way that's different from your school books and Hollywood. For instance, did you know that when Washington was at Yorktown, there were African-American soldiers fighting in his army? There were also thousands of African-Americans in Yorktown. They were runaway slaves who had joined the British. Washington returned them to their owners. They included 20 people from his own plantation and another 20 from Thomas Jefferson's Monticello plantation. The school books left that out. Or did you know that 70 years ago, as World War II was ending, General Eisenhower allowed the Soviet Union to go into Berlin? He didn't know that the Germans and the Russians were developing atomic weapons. He didn't even know about the Manhattan Project, America's own program for atomic weapons. That was a crucial part of that battle that got left out of our textbooks. A few years later, when he was president, Eisenhower had to decide whether he would use one of those atomic weapons in Vietnam. And of course, he chose not to. But then we got involved with the war in Vietnam, and it was really reporters, men like Walter Cronkite, who went to Vietnam and told Americans that they were being lied to by their government and by the military. That's also part of the hidden history that I explore in this story, the hidden history of America at war. You can learn a lot more about American history and the way Americans have gone to war for more than 230 years in this new audio. Thanks a lot.